Bam! What's going on, standard holders? What do you do? I don't know how to fix this issue, but we have more issues on top of more issues because it just continues to cause a domino effect. And what's going on is because there's been a, a huge inflow of more migrants coming across the border and we don't really have any, you know, set laws that can, you know, make the process a lot more smoother. What's going on is they have to dedicate a lot more personnel to the immigration duty and they're taking away from the you know, the, the, the personnel that's supposed to do the inspection on cars and trucks to make sure there's no drugs or, you know, any other things coming through the border. So because we're having, you know, those resources taken away, it's taking four to five more hours per vehicle for them to get across. And because of that, it's causing supply chain issues. And there are, you know, pretty much freight stranded at the border. They can't get across. And, you know, the total amount is 1.5 billion in goods that are stranded because, you know, the, the process is slow. There are there aren't enough lanes open for these trucks to come through. And what Mexico and I think some U.S. personnel are asking is for them to, you know, pretty much end the inspection. They don't want any truck inspections. And that's horrible. OK, because we have enough fentanyl coming in that are that's, that's undetected. So imagine if you just you're not inspecting anything. And I think this is just a, a catastrophe. This is just something that's, you know, it's like a, a, a boiling pot that eventually is gonna boil over. And we don't know what are the ramifications of that. I can't tell you what's the answer to fix this border crisis other than to close it and um, really come to a, a bipartisan, you know, bipartisan partnership and figure out how to properly get this thing under control. But I don't see anybody doing anything. And when I say anybody, I'm talking about this administration. They're supposed to be taking control of this and they're not. I don't see them saying anything about it. I don't see them coming to the border. I don't see them trying to, you know, you know, discourage people from coming across. I just, I just see New York is on fire. OK, um, I don't have the answers, guys. I'm not going to lie to you, but I do think they need to really take this serious because the amount of people that are coming will be millions. Let that sink in millions. OK, the amount of people that are coming in will total what the population is in certain states. So just take that into consideration because these people have to eat, they have to be fed, they have to be clothed, they have to have all the resources that everyone needs. And you know who's going to pay for that? <laughs> yeah, your tax dollars. Just like, you know, the money that's going over the overseas to help um, democracy. I'm not going to get into it, guys. You just... It's just, a, it's just a failing democracy over here, guys. That's all. Okay, we're going to send money over there, but we're not going to take care of what's going on over here. And... That's just where we are with things. That's where we are. So if you work in Texas and you um, get freight from the border, just understand you might have some you know, delays. And um, that's just what it is right now. But you guys let me know in the comment section. Peace.